Liverpool. Clipped in by Kimmich here, and Muller with the header couldn't generate the power to really trouble Gianluigi Donnarumma. He's identified quite often he plays anywhere in that second line of a... Going here on Donnarumma, Calabria. And then a foul by uh, Coleman. And, and he'll try and cause Calabria problems. Was he caught there? Not in the eyes of the referee, he says play on. Coleman adamant that that should have been a buy-in penalty. Just in the setup for that AC Milan team. You're bound to be nervous as a young player. Great ball, Davis. Come on. And he tried to slip that in towards up. Good link up play between those two on the left. Three inside the penalty area here for Kimmich, who's got away from Hernandez. And the flick on nearly ran through to Come on, put behind by Calabria. AC Milan are struggling at this stage. Just the setup is allowing Bayern Munich too easy to get into those wide positions. They've been done it on the right side, the left hand side. It's because that diamond mid has that type of ability to pick people out. You're, you're spot on there. He's not really like a Danny Alves or a Carl Walker type right back, is no, he? No, no. You think of all modern day fullbacks now, they're, they're essentially wingers, really. You know, centre half. Chalhanolu. Kukadan Zula here. Swept in dangerously towards Tompi's game. Renato Sanchez tried to feed that and towards uh, Piontek, who's barely seen the ball so far. Milano. It's very difficult to work out what will be the makeup of all these squads. Himself on the scene at Euro 2016 with Portugal. It's up towards Bli in the middle of midfield. And it's in towards Arp, it's in towards Coman, but no one can get a touch on it. What a brilliant delivery. The worry is Arts took a blow to his foot by the recovering defender. Looks like he's struck. Not afraid to shoot in that situation. Teammates arriving here and flicked over the bar. And Maldini nearly scores for AC Milan. Great opportunity for the teenager. Finding that Maldini there in possession, nearly creating a chance. There's still problems here as Piontek tries to get something on target and it looks like Milan have got themselves the corner. Well, the setup of this system under the new manager is to try and get the advanced midfielder on the ball. Maldini does it brilliantly there. The left back, we talked about a modern day guy, he's been brilliant. Ah, offside. Tidy feet has got Milan forward here. Castillejo, Davis very sharp. Still going here with Barini. And Calabria has to get forward here. And the right back's had a good first touch. Oh, oh and he nearly finds a teammate in the middle. Still going here with Barini. Come on. Sanchez. Will belt it. And with good reason, it opened up there for Renato Sanchez. And he hit it very cleanly indeed. On a room in goals, not happy with his teammates. They've got enough men in around. Look at them standing and then stepping in. To sign a new contract, and he's had more game time than he perhaps expected after that injury. The injuries to Andrea Con. <laughs> Soft free kick to give away there by uh, Maltini, tracking back on Renato Sanchez. It's great that he's putting a defensive shift in. Leon Goretzka. Oh, it's some of the training ground. Muller lays it off, and Kimikus is with him, and he's beyond his marker, and he'll get to the byline. Mick, he goes short with it, Bayern. Renato Sanchez. Floated in towards Zulo, who attacked the ball well, and uh, got in front of Billy Anst. Coman to the byline, and uh, dealt with by Calabria. Who's had a yeah. tough, tough evening so far? Yeah, been able to get anywhere near that. And when you just look at this AC Milan team now, and to be honest, Syria in general, the league seems to lack the athleticism of the Bundesliga, of the Premier League, and this is the difference. Kimmich, Davis, available to come, and now here is Davis. Corner again, Bayern racking these. Joe Hernandez, we hope. That's not too serious for uh, Milan's new left-back. 
here from Teo Hernandez. He's charged Milan up the pitch, and then the effort skied over, I think, by uh, Barini in the end. Oh, this would be a massive worry if he gets injured, because we talked about Yas Leticism. He's the one guy for this Milan team who seems to have an abundant, really worked the same team, Milan team. What a ball from Kimmich for Leon Goretzka. Bayern, right on half-time, have taken the lead. A wonderful, stealthy run into the box from Goretzka. But credit to Kimmich for the into the box from Goretzka. But credit to Kimmich for the assist. Bayern ahead at the break. You highlighted the stats of Kimmich. Gets in those advanced positions at right back. No one closing him down. That's the problem of that diamond run inside you, not open up your body, especially when someone like Muller is floating around. But Goretzka is this time. Makes that run from deep and this. Davis is not around the back. It's poor from Milan. No one was tracking him. It's the end product there, Chalhanolu. Well, he does recover. He's all come at the break. Leon Goretzka with that goal into uh, the fourth minute of additional time. Any clear cut opportunities. Well, Manuel Neuer did have their youth players is on here. Masula just uh, doing well to hold off Piontek. He but he's looked full of energy, full of that physical presence that we were so used to. Goretzka, Bayern have turned it over. Goretzka trying to burst through the middle. Arp is onto it, and now... Sanchez opens up for him. That will be a free kick, surely. Wow. Well, I thought his, he was caught there as he was lining up the shot. Gavich. Coman wiped out by Chawanolu, and he's not happy Whoa. at all. Well, Alfonso Davies has done his uh, teammate a huge favour there by stepping in because Coleman had lost it. Maltini led to run, Piontek on the turn. Now Peter Arp's trying to race through the middle, he might get through. Bit of take it first, take it first. Three in the box, tries to get to the back post from uh, Calabria, takes on Davies and gets something in Thiago's corner. Deep it goes to Renato Sanchez and Pavel was near. Well, listen, I'll show you. You don't want to see him sulking about the fact that they're looking elsewhere. Let's get to Muller. Mindset that could potentially turn him into a modern day fullback. He's an absolute flying machine, isn't he? And such is the dominance of the. Bayern Munich have domestically and more often than not when they play in Europe as well is that they will have looking for Castillejo in that position now although Zula has just gifted Catroni with a chance and Milan should be level good save from Sven Ulreich for the Milan substitute with a wonderful opportunity for 1-1 the midway point in the uh, second half brought into the starting 11 late when Lewandowski was actually named in the team we presume that it was a, an injury problem for Lewandowski. Here yeah. again, Piontek and Katrini are both. What a turn and what a ball. Old fashioned a chance here out of nothing. Muller tried to swing it in. Muller goes early with it in towards Harp. Alibra on the overlap. No one there on the penalty spot. Not the goal. Alaba, great ball in towards Muller, and he couldn't keep the header down. Good chance for 2 0 Bayern. Again, coming from too much time and space in those wide areas. For Milan, Chalhanolu driven in, and Ulreich's done enough. He's furious with himself, though. I know he's dipping. Too much on that for uh, Katrone. And Ulreich, he was at Milan, although the short run up. And it's seen him clipping. Papa, great vision. Arps in the middle, still fighting for it, and he scored. Great moment here for Fita Arp, the youngster signed from Hamburg. And they're looking to see whether or not he's offside as the decision being made. Ref An example there, just blocking things up. When it looks like Asian Man might break, he's covering round, making it difficult.